Hello, curious minds. It's already the third Tuesday of the month, so let's not waste another word. Here's what you can be amazed by in the night sky this June, 2025. The moon's story this June is packed with moments worth watching. We begin with the first quarter moon on June 3rd, a perfect time to grab binoculars or a telescope. Shadows along the lunar terminator highlight craters and mountains in striking detail. Next up, the full moon arrives on June 11th and it's a special one, the Strawberry Moon. Despite its name, it won't appear pink or red. This name comes from the Algonquin tribes, marking the short season of strawberry harvest in the northeastern U.S. Expect a bright, low-hanging full moon if you're watching near moonrise, it might even take on a golden hue as it climbs the sky. On June 18th, we hit the third quarter. Another good chance to observe lunar features in deep contrast, especially in the early morning hours. And finally, on June 25th, the moon goes dark with the new moon. The best time for stargazing and deep sky observing, as the moon's glow won't wash out the fainter wonders of the night. But that's not all. The moon also takes a little journey of its own. On June 7th, it reaches apogee, its farthest point from Earth. Then on June 23rd, it swings in closer at perigee, appearing just a bit larger and brighter in the sky. Keep an eye on it. Our cosmic companion always has something to show you. This June, Mars and the Moon are putting on not one but two stunning close encounters you won't want to miss. First, on June 1st, the slender moon meets Mars in the constellation Leo. They'll be just about one degree apart, close enough to fit into the same binocular view. The moon will be about 33% illuminated, softly glowing next to Mars, which shines bright at magnitude 1.3. If you're an early riser or night owl, this is a beautiful sight in the morning sky. Then, as June draws to a close, the two come together again on June 29th. This time, Mars will hover just above a thin crescent moon, creating a captivating sight especially for viewers in eastern North America, where the pair will appear almost touching. No special equipment is strictly necessary. Your unaided eyes are perfectly capable of appreciating this celestial pairing. So enjoy these two chances to see our moon give a cosmic nod to the god of war. From June 12th to June 30th, Mercury puts on its best show of 2025, a shining jewel low in the western northwestern sky just after sunset. Look for it between about 9 o'clock and 9.15 p.m. local time, when the sky is dark enough but Mercury still hangs close to the horizon. On June 12th Mercury hits its brightest point glowing at magnitude minus 0.8, bright enough to spot with the naked eye if you know exactly where to look. Because Mercury stays so close to the sun it can be tricky to find, but this month it climbs a bit higher than usual, making it easier for sky watchers with clear western horizons. Try using binoculars to help pick it out against the fading twilight. Just remember, Mercury won't stay up long so don't wait too late to catch this fleeting speedy planet. To maximize your chances of success, Check a reliable astronomy app or website for the exact dates of Mercury's greatest western elongation in June 2025. Mid-June brings a striking color contrast in the night sky, as fiery red Mars meets the cool blue-white star Regulus, the heart of Leo. From June 16th through 18th, shortly after nightfall, look toward the western horizon about 20 degrees above the skyline, Mars will shine brightly at magnitude 1.3 glowing with its characteristic rusty red hue, right beside it, Regulus, the brightest star in the constellation Leo, will twinkle with a beautiful blue-white light. You won't need a telescope for this show, just your eyes or binoculars. Don't miss this beautiful meeting of worlds as Mars cozies up to Regulus this June. June is full of little sky meetings, brief beautiful moments where the moon and planets appear to brush past each other in the night. Here are the highlights. June 8th. Look low in the western sky just after sunset to spot Jupiter and Mercury close together in Taurus, only about 2 degrees apart. With both shining brightly this pairing should be visible to the naked eye, but binoculars will make it even better. June 10th. Just before the full moon the moon passes incredibly close to Antares, the red heart of Scorpius. They're separated by just a sliver, less than half a degree. A perfect chance to see a bright star competing with a nearly full moon. Then on June 19th it's a double feature in the morning sky. First, the moon glides near Saturn just three degrees apart, and shortly after, it moves past Neptune. You'll need binoculars or a telescope for that one. Neptune is faint, but trackable in Pisces. The moon's journey continues on June 23rd bringing us a triple treat. It comes close to Uranus, visible with binoculars. It brushes by the Pleiades star cluster, a gorgeous naked eye object, even more magical next to a crescent moon. And it happens to be at perigee that same day, its closest point to Earth this month, so it'll appear just a little larger and brighter. Finally, on June 27th, the moon wraps up its tour by joining Mercury in the early morning sky, both hanging low in Cancer just before sunrise. These brief encounters are easy to miss, 
but if you catch even one, you'll see the night sky in a whole new way. And of course we can't talk about June without mentioning the solstice, the turning point of the seasons. If you're in the northern hemisphere, this is the summer solstice, the longest day and shortest night of the year, and it marks the official start of astronomical summer. From here the days begin to shorten, and the nights slowly grow longer as we head deeper into summer and inch closer to autumn. But if you're in the southern hemisphere it's the winter solstice, the shortest day and longest night of the year. From this point on, the days begin to grow longer again, as the light slowly returns and winter gradually gives way to spring. No matter where you are on Earth, the solstice happens because of one thing, Earth's tilt. On June 21st, the North Pole leans most directly toward the Sun, and the South Pole leans away. It's a quiet moment in the planet's orbit, and depending on your time zone, the solstice can actually fall anywhere between June 20th and June 22nd, so whether you're celebrating the height of the sun or the return of the light, the solstice reminds us, we are all riding this tilted world together, spinning through space season by season. So, the sky never stays still, and neither should your curiosity. What moment from June's night sky are you most excited to see? Let us know in the comments. And if you saw something amazing last month, share that too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a moment of cosmic wonder. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.